And in Singapore, in the Tours Megaport, is consolidating all terminals into one fully automated facility, capable of handling 65 million containers annually by 2040. It will be run by AI, powered by automation, and designed from the grind up for resilience. For customers, automation means fewer delays, more reliable schedules, and of course, lower cost. Retailers can plan promotions with confidence. Manufacturers can trust more of a just-in-time delivery. Consumers see stocked shelves instead of shortages. But automation is expensive. It requires deep technical skills, and it can be politically sensitive. Unions and dock workers often resist it, fearing job losses. Uh, automation is bad for the workforce. You know, technology is supposed to, supposed to enhance our lives. It's not supposed to take away uh, our lives. So the big question is, can ports in Africa or South America leapfrog straight to automation? Or will they be stuck making incremental upgrades while the rest of the world moves ahead? Because for the customer, whether it's a farmer exporting cocoa or a car maker importing steel, the difference between modern automation and outdated processes is the difference between staying competitive and falling behind. Let's look at the manufacturer. A car plant in Europe relies on copper and cobalt from Africa. When Port Noir clogs, shipments are delayed, production targets are missed, workers stand idle, contracts with dealers are breached. For a manufacturer, a port delay is a factory shutdown.